Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so here is a highly teased and requested video that I've been talking about for a while now, and that is the laptop docking station for under $300 that can change your Note 10, S10, or other Samsung devices into a full-on computer and laptop. So this comes about through Dex, and Dex is doing a lot of things better than Android 10 does with their new interface, which still seems like it's in beta. And the problem with Dex is that you either hook it up to a monitor, which is only gonna be in one place, or you hook it up to a laptop, which when you do that, why would you use Dex instead of just using the laptop? But this is something different. So this is a 12.5 inch laptop that has nothing inside of it. It is made to dock with an old Windows phone. However, it works almost perfectly with Dex with the exception of two things that we'll go over later. But what this allows you to do, it has a very a light weight to it, uh, about six to eight hours, uh, more like six in my uh, time with it, but really great overall in terms of look and feel of it. In terms of ports, you have your connection for the phone itself. You have a micro HDMI, not my favorite, but hey, you can actually even have two screens uh, for your phone, who knew? And then you have the charging port on the left, on the other side for type C, and then you even have an extra type C available with the battery indicator telling you if you're at 75%, 50% or 25% battery. Now, the thing I love about this is that it really stands out when I'm on the go. And for me, the reason why this is so great instead of just taking a work laptop that's bigger and heavier is that one, I don't have to worry about things like VPNs. Now, for most businesses, like the one I'm a part of, I have to log into a VPN and secure and all this kind of stuff to be able to access my emails and other documents. With my phone though, I don't need to do that. So that translates to this ability. So I can literally type up documents, I can send emails for work without needing to get a VPN token or anything like that. That in itself is really great. Not to mention that with a Bluetooth controller, you automatically have a bigger screen for your gaming if you have controller-based games. You also have the ability to, of course, have it for a bigger screen for movies. And again, it's something that you don't have to ever take a tablet, and that's what I think this also takes the place of. It gives you a bigger screen for your phone while having multiple uses for it, including just watching movies, which is a decent sized screen for it, and definitely bigger than what you have right now. And it's just so portable and easy to go with because it's the size of most surfaces out there and it is a bit better build quality in my opinion. The keyboard is really nice, it feels good to type on, and overall I would say the screen and sound quality is good, but therein lies the two things that do not work with this docking station. So one of the biggest issues with this station is that because it wasn't made for it, the audio does not work through Type-C. Don't know why, it just does not work through it. So you can use the Bang & Olsen speakers that are on the docking station. However, this is taken care of with two different options. First one is playing audio through the phone, which I'll show you how to do right now, or just playing some good Bluetooth headphones is the other solution. So whichever one you want, I usually do the Bluetooth, but just to show you how, you can disable audio coming out of a Type-C connection by doing this. Going to settings, scrolling all the way down, going to developer options, scrolling all the way down, and then if you scroll up a little bit, right here under media, you're gonna see disable USB audio routing. This will make it so that it will not allow a USB device to take the audio that it will only play out of here. So even when I connect it, and it then changes to dex mode on the screen here, it will still allow me to instead be able to just play the audio through the phone. I'll fly through the air. And that way it's still playing out of the phone, not the right laptop. There. If you do I'll not play. do this, by the way, you will have no audio. So this solves it to play it through the phone, or again, you can just easily use some Bluetooth headphones 
and use it that way. Now the second thing that doesn't work is a right click. This is a little annoying just because Android has the ability to do right click, but for some reason the trackpad, it does have a right click and it works with other things, but not with this. So therefore you really do have to be wary of that, that you can actually not right click with it, but an easy solution of course is just getting a mouse, which I love external mouses. I don't like trackpads to begin with. So I always use an external mouse with this and it works perfectly. Again, this is a full laptop replacement with these two fixes. Overall, I cannot recommend this enough. I use it constantly now, and it's just a really great ability to actually have such a lightweight device on the go with me everywhere I go and get work done, watch movies. I really actually do prefer this over a tablet now, just because I don't have to take, yes, I have to take two things, but it's all connected with one thing. And let's not forget, this has either LTE or 5G now, so I never have to worry about getting Wi-Fi like I do with the tablet. And I can get an LTE tablet, but again, this is just so much better than having an LTE laptop or an LTE tablet because it's all one right away. You don't have to do a hotspot. You don't have to do anything else. It's just a docking station for it. Now, what about price? Well, I alluded to, you easily can get this for under 300. Right now, I'm gonna leave several links for eBay down below, but you can get them for as low as 200 right now. I actually paid 250 for mine, so they're even cheaper than I are right now. But the downside about this it is kind of while supplies last, because you know they're not probably making any more of these. Again, this was for a old HP Windows phone, but it works so perfectly with the Note 10, with the S10, with every Android device that Samsung probably will make in the future. So it's definitely something you should pick up now while it lasts, while it's in great condition, and definitely while it can benefit you with your current smartphone. All right, guys, hopefully you did like this video. I really cannot say how much I do like this product. It just has turned into a really great experience. It was thanks to a viewer, which I will uh, link, uh, give them a thumbs up and pin their comment if they comment on this video. Thank you so much for recommending it on our live chat. It kind of put it on my radar and I ended up loving it. All right, guys, thank you again always so much for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.